Hi everyone, I am Eve the Medium and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're visiting my channel for the first time and you're interested in developing your spirituality, I suggest that you subscribe below and also click the notification bell to be notified when any of my new videos are up. So guys, I am back and I missed you all terribly, but I was on vacation and I had a great time and that's what counts, right? Well, I'm back to give you guys some tips on how to protect yourself spiritually while you're on vacation, whether it's internationally or local, it does not matter. The important thing is to protect yourself. And in this video, I will be sharing with you guys how I protected myself spiritually while on vacation. So stay with me. Hi guys, welcome back. So in the past, I have received so many questions from many of you asking me, what should I do with my altar when I'm going on vacation? What can I do with my spirits? How can I serve my spirits if I'm going to be away or if there's anything different that I need to do prior to going on vacation? And also, how can I protect myself? To answer that question that has been asked so many times, what can I do with my altar? with my ancestors altar or the altar of the 21 division if I am going on vacation. Speak to your spirits. One advice that I give everyone is first, prior to planning your vacation, ask your spirits, is this trip convenient for me? Should I make this trip? Is this the right time to take this trip? Why? We must ask that question because spirits see a lot more than us. They know more than us. And they can tell you if this is the perfect time or a good time to take this vacation. First, ask your spirits. And when they answer you that this is right, that this is the right time, then what you do is, as you plan your trip prior to going on your vacation, I would say three days prior or two days prior, remove any services that you have placed on the altar meaning any foods that may go stale, any drinks that you might have offered them. And another thing that I do is make sure that I change each goblet of water and give them fresh water. And after that, I do my prayers and I ask them to accompany me to my trip. I always make sure that all my spirits accompany me to every single trip or everywhere I go. You do your prayers again. Ask God and the spirits to go before you to make sure that you have a pleasant time you and your family that you enjoy yourself and that they keep you protected and safe it is very simple just speaking to them and letting them know and inviting them on this trip but at the same time you let them know to protect your home and to keep it safe so that is that the next thing that I do prior to going on any vacation is make sure that I take with me my products, the products that I use to cleanse myself and to protect myself spiritually. I usually do my jinx removing bath and for me and all my family, we all do a jinx removing bath, cleanse ourselves. I do some protection rituals and then make sure that I package and place in my luggage my jinx removing rub. I'm going to be showing you the products that I took with me on this vacation to the Dominican Republic. And not only to the Dominican Republic, anytime I travel, I always make sure I take my products with me. I like to make sure that I have things that I can use, the products I can use to cleanse myself and keep myself protected at all times and also my family. Because wherever I go, they go. And sometimes I just travel along with my husband, but I also take my products. So what do I do with the Jinx Removing Rub? As you can see, I have a spray nozzle on this one and I added this. So when I got to the hotel, I made sure I sprayed the room. Even though the energy in the hotel where we were staying was incredibly, incredibly awesome. They do cleanse the room, but I also like to make sure that the room is spiritually cleansed. So what I do is I go around the corners, spraying my, my Jinx Removing Rub and, and all the areas in the room, the bathroom every corner of the hotel room and what I also use this for is if at any time I am feeling any negative energy from visiting other places I take a little bit of my Jinx Removing Rub add it 
to a bowl of water, which I always make sure I get a bowl wherever I go, and add some cascarilla, and add some water, and after I shower, just pour it over myself. And let me tell you, I had the greatest time. Energy-wise, I cannot say I felt any negative energy, and it's because I took the utmost precautions. I took all my products, and I made sure I did I continue, I make sure I continue to do my cascarilla in Colonia um, bath every evening prior to retiring for bed. Another one of my products that I took with me is the St. Clair house spray. You can also spray this around the room, in the corners, and on the bed. You can spray it lightly on the bed and in the pillows. If you're staying in a hotel, you know a lot of people continuously in and out. There's always a new guest in that room. It's best to take precautions, clear the room of any residual energy. So this is what I did with this, and I also sprayed the bed. Since it's safe to spray the bed, it will not stain it. You can spray the bed with that and also spray the hotel room. And keep the Jinx removing rub just in case you need to do a strong bath. Mix it with water and pour it. The third product that I took with me was my Travel Size Aura Cleansing. I will not leave without this. This is so small, it's just four ounces. You can throw it in your bag and carry it with you. As I mentioned in the Spanish version, especially if you're going to go sightseeing, if you're going to historical places, you know, you never know what kind of energy is there. You know, the history is there and also residual energy. So it's best to take precautions and carry your spray with you. I went into a historic place and the energy was not as comfortable, so I made sure once I left, I sprayed myself. And I also cleansed myself, prepared my bath with Cascarilla in Colonia, which is something that I'm always, always recommending for you guys to do. So you ask yourself, did I take my Cologne 1800 and my Cascarilla with me? Yes, I did. And what I did is I took the four ounces, but I took like about three bottles of this to be exact. And my Cascarilla. For those of you who do not know what Cascarilla is, I get this question so many times the link is in my bio there you will find the video on the spiritual uses and the way you can protect yourself with cascarilla so what I did is I kept up with my routine I cleansed myself with my cascarilla in Colonia and I also prepare my cleansing bath again I always find a way to get a bowl wherever I'm at it does not matter add my Colonia add my cascarilla and prepare my bath and sleep like a baby if you're not feeling any negative energy, that's fine, but at least you have it there for when you need it. It's best to be prepared than to find yourself in a place feeling negative energy like so many people have experienced that they stay in a hotel and they start experiencing all this negative energy, even nightmares, even night paralysis, and you have nothing at hand to cleanse yourself, especially if you're with your kids or with your family on this vacation. So you know what? I rather take the precautions and take everything with me, prepare everything beforehand so I make sure that I do not forget, put it in my luggage and take it with me and at least you're safe. So these are the things that I took with me on my vacation and that I always take with me when I go on vacation. Another thing that might not be exactly necessary for you, but this is something that I do, I always take with me my book of prayer and I always take a Ziploc bag with tea lights. What are the tea lights for? So I can take a glass from the hotel room, fill it with water, and still continue to do my prayers. Why do I continue to do my prayers when I travel? It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel connected with my spirits. And as I have mentioned so many times, when I do my prayers in the morning, it's like everything just flows in a positive way. Everything just goes well. I feel positive, I feel protected, and I feel the energy of my spirits with me. But again, you do not necessarily have to do this, but I choose to do it. These are the precautions that I take, and this is something that has helped me every time I travel. I always make sure that I take these products with me, and I always make sure that I speak to my spirits prior to making any plans. I will not, I mean will not, plan any vacation whatsoever without speaking to my spirits first. So guys, I hope this information has helped you and also help you plan your trips better. At the end of this video, I will be sharing some pictures with you 
of the places that I visited in the Dominican Republic. Some of the hotel where I stayed, which was an awesome hotel. It's called the Jaragua Hotel in the Dominican Republic. It's right across the street from the Malecon in the middle of everything. I highly, highly recommend it. I will also be sharing with you guys some pictures I took in the Mercado Modelo. It's a market in the Dominican Republic where you will find everything. Your eyes will just pop right open when you see so many things. So I took advantage and purchased a couple of things for my spirits. On my Instagram, I share one of the pictures where I'm wearing the hat and that was in the market. I'm going to show a clip of the video where basically she has everything. Everything, everything you will ever need for the Loire, she has it there. So, if you ever visit the Dominican Republic, I highly recommend that you go to the Mercado Modelo where you can find so many things. They have botanicas, they have herbs, they have all kinds of things. So guys, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, do not forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And if at any time you're interested in booking a spiritual path investigation reading with me, or just a general reading, you can visit my website, eSpiritualHealer.com, and also purchase my products there. I love you guys. May God and the Lord bless you. And as always, I wish you much, much love and light.